Well, the Wiener saga continues, and this weekend, more photos have surfaced of the New York congressman. The photos were reportedly taken in the House members' gym. Now, last week, Wiener admitted that he did send inappropriate text messages and pictures to women all across the United States, but he has repeatedly said that he will not step down. A spokeswoman says that Wiener is taking a leave of absence from Congress and will be seeking treatment. And this morning, we're talking to radio host Lisa Wexler about the scandal and also how it relates to other recent political sagas. Good to see you again, Lisa. Hi, Logan. Good morning. So you've been talking with a lot of people on your radio show. What's, I mean, what's the general idea? What are people saying? What do you think about well, this? Well, okay, the general idea is that the callers, 100% unanimous, want him out. They feel it's not befitting of a U.S. congressman uh, between the shot of his private member. I'm not sure what we can say on television. Right. But all of it, and also the really coarse graphic bordering on obscene language that was reprinted verbatim in the New York Daily News and the New York Post, people have had it with him. They've had it with his arrogance. Now, I will say that I did interview, for different reasons, a couple of Democratic legislators from Connecticut last week, and so I asked them about Wienergate. And both of them, to my surprise, were not pushing him out the door. Mm -hmm. They were not like Nancy Pelosi. Uh, or other members of Congress right now. And I tried to press them and find out why, and they said they just wouldn't go there. They wouldn't ask for his resignation, which I did not really appreciate because I, as a woman, as a citizen, I thought he should leave the stage from the beginning. So let's talk a little bit about his conduct, maybe in relation to some other politicians. We have Arnold Schwarzenegger, I obviously. Know. Had a child right. with another woman, right. right? We have John Edwards, who right. had a child with another woman while his wife was, you know, seeking treatment for cancer. The low cancer. life of the low life. Bill Clinton, we know what happened right. in the Oval in Office. The o that was a one. sexual act. Absolutely. Now we've got Anthony Weiner, and it's really right. pictures. And most of the pictures, you know, they're of him with his shirt off. He's in a tank top. He's in a towel. We all know about the underwear one. Right. And allegedly there's this one where it's actually... Actually nude right. below the waist that Opie and Anthony Correct. took, right, and, and were supposed Barthes. to. Right. Um, he hasn't slept with another woman, as apparently, as far as we know. As far as right. we know. So, um, it, I don't think this story is about infidelity message. as opposed to the other ones. Well, I, uh, I don't think this is about infidelity. Okay, what is it about? I think this is about conduct becoming a congressman while he's in office. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's about infidelity. Let's say he wasn't married. Would, right. would it still be the same? I think it would be to a large degree. That's my point. Mm -hmm. I think that a lot of people, men and women, simply cannot get their arms and heads around this kind of juvenile, immature behavior that opens himself to intimidation and extortion as a congressman. If he sent these pictures to his wife as kind of a fun little flirty thing, is I it I think it would be bad? different. No, That's I think that would be then. different. Yeah. But frankly, social media is not a private means of communication. Mm -hmm. Twitter and Facebook are not private. True. What if it was a text message on his private phone to her private phone? I think that it would be nobody's business. Right. So it's interesting where the, where the gray area is, where the lines are. But this is the, the public. Right. So over the weekend it came out that it's a 17-year-old girl. How does he know who he's doing it with? Right. It shows an element of risk-taking sure. that borders on real ris irresponsibility for a congressman. Do you think it's grounds for divorce? For sure it's grounds for divorce, but that's her problem. That's her issue. And that's why not do you mine. say that? Because he's obsessed with okay. and has a disease of sorts in flirting and communicating inappropriately with other women. Emotional infidelity for many women is just as bad as going in the sack. There's then the lying about it, right? Because yes, there's the initial the media. act and then there's the lying about it. The five days it. to the media. Right. And right. so a lot of people point to that. Maybe they are wishy-washy on whether he should resign because of the actual act, the posting and the pictures and everything. But now he's lying to the media about it and to all of his constituents. Because he couldn't say with certitude mm -hmm. that it was his shorts. Yeah, right. All right. So uh, <laughs> the next thing is now he's seeking treatment, right? Yes. And it's on, our be, and it's on, our on our dime. On our dime. On our dime. As taxpayers. But but yeah. doesn't that seem to be the way there's the bad act, then there's the lie about it, then you get caught in the lie, right. and then you seek treatment, and right. you're supposed to be somehow forgiven. Right. I know. He would have been better off the first day, Logan, if he had said, yes, it's all me. I really have a problem. I'm getting off the stage to let somebody else serve my district. Instead, the drawing of it out shows his arrogance. And I'll give you an example of arrogance on the political stage. He 
is being uh, mourned, if you will, by progressives who are sorry to see him go because he was such a strong voice for Obamacare, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the health care plan. But when it came to his own district in New York City, he applied for a waiver of Obamacare in New York City. Yeah, that's interesting. Hypocrisy. We're going to have to leave it at that. We can I, keep I don't going on to. and on. Yes. <laughs> you know, I, don't want I know. To. Well, you can listen to Lisa Wexler every afternoon. Two stations. Check it out. It's uh, News Talk 1400 WSTC and 1350 WNLK, Fairfield County. I mean, the other question is are the Democrats doing the right thing by leaving him there, not asking for him to resign so soon, getting him out? The Republicans had a couple long. of situations with two of them. They were they gone fast yep. back in a moment.